did you find us out? When? The night he left, he told me. That's a long time to know something and keep it to yourself. I can't go through this now. Not now, Martin. Mum. Not now, Martin, please. I want to go home. I just want to go home. I don't understand. What's to understand? He's dead. Mum, can you just talk to me, please? Yes. You never just talk to me. Why did you keep this to yourself? I had to. No, you didn't. All this time. How could you know this and carry on with this normal life? It's hardly normal, Martin. Well, that's the way it seems to me. Because I didn't know nothing, did I? So that night, you watched him ride out of the square, knowing that he was sick, that he was going to die. You see, while you might have been expecting this, you might have been preparing yourself for this. I haven't. This has come as a real shock to me. Because this is the first I've heard about it, innit? How could you just let him go off? Well, if I could have stopped him, I would. But he just went off and, and left me. Us. Mum, us. Were you ever going to tell me, Mum? Were you ever going to sit me down and say, Martin, I've got something to tell you about your brother? Oh, I don't know. Oh, come off it, Mum. You're Paul in Fowler. You know everything. What about me, Mum? Well, you, you let me read all those postcards and believe them. Could you do that? Keep looking me in the face. He wanted to protect you. I'm not a kid, Mum! It's ain't something he protected from a... Because look, it's happened! We? Who's we, Mum? Me. Mark and... And who? Derek. Derek? What's he got to do with this? He ain't family. God. Well, what you've done don't mean a thing to you, does it, Mum? How can you say that? This, this is my son. I'm your son too! Yes, I know, and it's only because we were thinking of you. We were. We were. You'd been through so much, so much trouble. No, no, no Mum. Now, what you mean is that I've put you through so much trouble. What you mean is that I am so much trouble. No. Go upstairs, Martin. Shut up, Martin. Get out of the house, Martin. You, you tell me this and you tell me that. But you never once stop to think of telling me one thing I might really need to know. Martin, it wasn't like that. Then how can you and Derek sit there in the same house as me every morning over breakfast, look me in the face? Lay down the law about how I'm screwing up my life. Well, all the time you two were lying. Mum. Mum, we, we could have talked to each other. We could have understood each other a bit better over this past year. We didn't need to keep having all these rugs. And how do you think it was for me? This is my mark, my firstborn, my baby boy. And now you've just got me. Wrong son really did leave the square, didn't he, Mum? Say, Martin, it's not like that. Oh, well, that's how it seems to me. I mean, what was the first thing you said to me when I walked through that door? What have you done? Well, this time, Mum, you're the one that's wrong. Pauline? Well, look who it is. Derek. What's going on? Uh, Mark's dead. You know my brother Mark. Well, at least you're not acting surprised. No, look, look, I ain't finished talking to my mother. Mum, you should have told me, not him. She didn't. 
when I want to talk to you, I'll look at you. I'm not looking at you. So shut up. Mum, you could have told me. Yeah? When would have been the right time? Any time. Oh, yeah? Like when you were waiting to go to court? When you were in prison? When you came out of prison? When then would have been oh, the right time? Yeah, all right, yeah. It's me, isn't it, Mum? It's me. No, Martin, I didn't mean that. Yeah, you did. Now, look, everybody, look, let's stop this right now, eh? Something's going to be said that can't be taken back. It already has. Oh, Martin, don't go. Martin. Martin. I'll go and find him. Make him understand. I, I never meant to hurt him, never. He'll listen to you. Bring him back for me, please, Derek. <sighs> what have I done, Tom? We think we know what we're doing, don't we? With our children. We haven't a clue. Just guessing. We do our best, Pauline. It's all we can do. Captain Lido. Summer of 76. Remember how hot it was? Oh, don't know how just. Stand pipes, share your bath with a friend. I used to take the children there swimming. It was heaving. Be Michelle splashing about doing the doggy paddle down the shallow end. And Mark... Just used to run off with his mates. He's been murdered, trying to keep an eye on him. Don't go where I can't see you, I used to tell him. And then one afternoon, I, I lost sight of him. My heart was in my mouth. I was looking down in the pool to see if he was under the water. And I heard this voice calling me, and I, I looked up and... There he was, up on the top diving board. Could hardly see him against the sun. Just this little figure waving and shouting. Look at me, Mum, look at me. Then he ran and jumped. I couldn't watch. I had to close my eyes. I thought, this is never going to be all right. And the next thing I know, he's... Climbing out the pool, a big grin on his face. And Did you see me, Mum? Did you see me dive? And I said, yes, darling. You were brilliant. And he ran off. Did it again and again and... It didn't look like diving to me. It just looked like my little boy falling out of the sky and I couldn't catch him. This isn't going to solve anything. What do you want? To talk. No. What do you want from us? Nothing. How have you got right in the middle of my family, Derek? How have you suddenly got right in the middle of us? I don't think you can say it's sudden. Oh, you've got your feet right under the table, haven't you? Hey, what's it all about? You ain't blood. What the hell is it that you want? I care about your family, Martin. About your mother, you. You care about me? Yes, I do. But I don't want your care. It makes me want to throw up. You could take your care away, because I never asked for it, and I don't want it. I understand how you feel, Martin. You're hurt, angry. Oh, yeah, because you're so understanding, aren't you? Hey, who gives you the right to keep things from me? Hey, who made you the boss of me? Well, come on, then, talk. That's what you wanted to do, innit? What have you got to say about this? Well, this isn't going to help. Well, that's where you're wrong. So you don't know everything, do you? 
because I'm telling you that this is helping. This is making me feel a whole lot better. So how much do you care now? Look, you can push me all you like, son. What? What did you just call me? Son! I'm not your son. I know. So why did you call me here? Just came out. Oh, you think that makes you my dad? No. I've got a dad. I know. Yeah, all right, he might not be here, but that don't mean I want you as my dad. Martin, I'm not trying to be your dad. You know, if my dad was here, he wouldn't have stood for you leeching into my family, getting in the way of me and my mum and my brother. You are only the lodger. Oh, yeah? All right, Martin, you can have that one. But I'll tell you now, don't do it again. Let's just stop all this, all right? Make me. Go on, Derek. Make me stop. What are you going to do to make me stop? Come on! Make me stop, Derek! <laughs> I'm going to kill you. Sure you will. You're young and you're strong and you very probably will kill me, but... It's not going to change anything. It's not going to change things. It's not going to bring him back. Brother's dead. He's dead. I know. I am so, so very sorry. That's simple. It's a lie. Martin, sometimes you tell little lies to the people you love in the hope it'll make the unbearable just a bit more bearable. Nothing's ever that simple. It is to me. I want a lie. One day you will. You tell a little lie to make it easier. We all do it. None of us have all the answers. She honoured the promise she made to him. She did what he wanted. I just, I just don't want him to have been scared or in pain. And he would have been, wouldn't he? I mean, no matter how anyone tries to say it, he would have been. And do you know where he was? London. I mean, what does that make it? Worse or better? It doesn't make it either. Come home, Martin. Don't let your mum go thinking she's lost two sons on the same day. You are all right with your mum now, though, aren't you? What am I going to do? It's my mum, isn't it? She was only doing what he asked. I just don't understand why he asked it. I asked about his reasons. Remember that fight I had with him in the middle of the market? Of course I do. I was trying to stop you. Well, I hated him so much for going away right when I really wanted him there. And I was right, Larry. I reckon I could have him. He bashed me up good. Everyone watching. And he said I didn't know anything about his life. And then he came and he found me and he asked for my forgiveness. It's a weird word, though, isn't it? Forgiveness. That's what you ask for a sin. See, I, th I thought it was for the fight and him going away. But it was for now, wasn't it? He was asking me to forgive him for this. Do you? I'll tell you what I can't forgive him for. Your mum looks so little, Martin. Yeah, I know. Your mum, wait a minute. Yeah. See you, Daddy. See you, Daddy. 